This video is from the Zoom recording of the live Essential Linux tutorial. Usually, OIT HPC tries to make explanations as clear as possible while being as brief as possible. This is not that. This is a fluency drill. We will do these commands over and over. The goal is to be able to do them without thinking, increasing your efficiency at using the cluster. We will drill these basic Linux commands tab shortcut to autocomplete. We will also briefly explain directory and file permissions. We're just gonna show the basic Linux commands, just basic enough for you to be very comfortable using the HPC. So there's key commands and shortcuts because Linux people don't like to type. We're gonna go through how to parse output environment variables and do the text editor, BI. So to open a terminal, so if you have a Mac, you would type this magnifying glass and look for terminal. And open the terminal. If you have a Windows machine, you would click on MOBA Xterm and open the terminal. To use Henry 2, you basically need these eight Linux commands and a text editor. You need to print the directory you're currently in, look at what's in the directory, change around the directory, make a directory, copy and remove files, look at the inside of files, and edit the files with a text editor. So let's start. So if you type pwd, that prints the working directory, and you should be in your home directory. I'm on my Mac, so this is the name of my home directory. If you're on Henry 2, it would say slash home, and if you're using MOBA Xterm, it'll say slash home. What is here? Now again, if it's uh, if you're on Henry 2 and you type ls, it might have nothing at all. But even let me make an empty directory. Empty make your empty. So if I type ls, there's nothing there. But there is some things. There's called hidden files. If you do minus a, it'll show you the hidden files. And there's dot and dot dot. So dot. Uh, let me go over those later. So there are hidden files. So I'm going to go back to my home directory. If I do ls minus a, don't worry about head for now, I'll do it later. There are these dot files. So here's dot and dot dot. And those are hidden files because you shouldn't touch them. You should not touch the hidden files unless you know why you should change the hidden files. So another thing is, uh, ls minus l that's long form so remember if you do ls it'll just show you the names of the files if you do minus l it'll show you the long form and again ls minus a shows the hidden files and the reason i have to do head is because i have so many files but here's the hidden files they're going to come up first okay so again let's do pwd for print working directory. I'm gonna use the clear command a lot when I do a demo. So here's clear. I'm in my home directory and I wanna go somewhere else. So here this slash is the beginning of directory. If you're in a Windows, it'll be like capital C colon slash slash. So let's go there and type ls. Let's do ls minus l. So these are all your system directories. There's where your applications are. This is the main directory. So most of the time you wanna work out of your home directory, there's a lot of ways to get home. If you type CD with nothing after it, it will get you to your home directory. There's also something called a tilde. You'll see this if you're installing software or looking around, here's the tilde. What does it mean? Well, let's go back to slash PWD. So if we do CD tilde, that will also take us home. So CD with nothing and CD tilde is take us home. So I'm home and I'm in this directory, Lisa Lowe. If I wanna go up a directory, it's here. So remember the LS minus A. These dots, those are actually directories. So if we do CD dot, let me do PWD. This is where I am, PWD, and type all these in. The point is to get really good at typing these eight commands so you never have to think about it too hard again. So PWD, we're there. 
So if we cd dot pwd, we are in the same directory. Dot means the directory you are in now. It's kind of stupid to cd to it, but if you're copying stuff later, that's what you'll do. So cd dot dot pwd, that means you've gone up a directory. So now in users, how do we get home? CD with nothing after it. So again, if you're in MOBA Xterm or Henry 2, you probably have nothing. Let me clear the screen. So let me make a directory. I'm going to make a directory, mkdir. I'm going to call it stuff. So if I do ls, I'll show you minus lrt later. Here is the stuff directory. And I'm going to cd into it. I'm going to start going over the key commands now. Linux people do not like to type. So if I do stu and hit tab, it'll autocomplete. Linux people don't like to, well, we try not to type as much as possible. So again, cd, stu, tab, enter. And ls, there's nothing there. Do ls minus a. That's a directory. Those are the two directories. Remember, ls minus la. Those are the directories. So the directory stuff is empty. Let's put something there. So now we do wget. And you don't have to memorize this one, but you might use it again. Okay. That gets from the web. So ls shows that there's a file. And .txt means it's probably a text file, but let's look at it. Cat means you look at the file. So again, there's only one file. I'm going to type s and I hit tab because I don't want to type in science.txt. Cat science.txt and everything is dumped to the screen. And if I want to see more of it, I can scroll up. But that's kind of, it's usually very annoying. If you want to look at a file, you don't want it all to be dumped to the screen. And that's why we use less. Less, s, again, s tab. Don't type it, s tab. Less and less you type space to page through. If you use more, you can page through, but you can't go backwards. So here's the up arrow. That's why they say less is more. So you use the up arrow, you go down, you can use space. The thing you have to remember is Q for quit, so you don't get stuck in less. So for less, you remember, uh, hit the up arrow. Hit the up arrow and it will do the thing that you did. Let's just try that now up. If you go up, it'll show your previous commands. So hit the up arrow, hit less, hit the space bar to page, Q to quit. Okay, so there's our file. More about ls. Now I realize this slide, it really shouldn't be in this order because there's nothing interesting in there. So ls minus l shows this 2005. That's because I downloaded this file from a tutorial that's from 2005. So copying it did not change the time. So what I'm going to do is move to this. I'm going to move here and just show you move, copy, and remove. So here is my file, ls minus l. Okay. I am going to copy it, cp, copy, science.txt, and I'm going to call it something else. Call it copy.txt. Now if I do ls minus l, I can see these files. And what is the date? Oops. Okay, this is now. I just made a file and there's the date. So let's make a file that starts with f. Uh, whoops, that's vi. So let's copy it. Copy s tab. Copy s tab to text ls minus l and you can see ls minus l puts it in alphabetical order so if you do ls minus lt it will put it in time order so here is the latest thing that i did was foo.txt so it, the this is more this is you more useful when you're on henry 2 you want to see what your last output was from your run ls minus l rt RT is reverse time order, okay? And so this gives the most recent last. What is 7767? That is the size of the files. And it happens to be exactly the same because we copied the same file three times. So 7767 is really annoying. 
especially if it's a really big file. So then we add an H that is for human readable. And there we go in kilobytes. The H and L is long and it's used in a lot of commands. So is H for human readable used in a lot of commands. So let's see. L S. So if we want to make, if we, we can make move is to move, but it also is rename. So if I want to rename foo.txt to blah.txt, which is my favorite uh, name for junk files is blah. Okay, blah.txt. So it didn't get rid of, it, it didn't make another file. It just renamed it. So now you know how to move, copy, remove. I, we didn't read, let's remove stuff. We didn't remove. So I am going to remove copy.txt. That's all, I'm gonna leave the other one. Okay, so you'll do this exercise in a bit. I'll, I'll pause and be quiet while you try that out. So more about LS, this is what I just showed you. It's very useful. You can put as many of these as you want. LS minus L, reverse time order. Okay, long, reverse time order human readable hidden files there you go all of them okay this again is not essential linux you don't have to have this stuff memorized but i want to go over it you're using a shared system and you're gonna sometimes change your directory permissions okay so let's see i'm gonna clear the screen these are show the, the long shows the directories and the permissions. Okay, since there's no directories, I'm gonna make one. MKDIR. We already did that to make stuff. So I'll make another one. Stuff. So you know it's a directory, you just made it. Here's a D for directory. RWX, read, write, execute. Um, that means, well, it means what it what it says. The file, you can read it you can write to it, or you can execute. Like if it's a program, you can run it. If you don't have execute permissions on a program, you won't be able to run it. Read, write, execute. And that's for user, you are the user. The owner of the file is the user. Group is the next one. Other is the next one. So on the HPC, you might wanna let more people have elevated privileges in your group. Like I'm in the support group. You might be in the astrophysics group. But for other, you probably want no one looking at it. There's no reason for them to look at it. So let's try that now with change mod, C-H-M-O-D. And let's say science.txt S-C tab. If you do S tab, it won't work because there's a stuff. It'll show you what you want to do next. Others, I don't want them to read. So I'm going to remove others. Ch change mod others minus read on science.txt ls minus l and there it is science.txt if you're not in my group you can't see it okay what if science.txt is like a google doc and i want my group to be able to write to it i can add permission change mod group plus write science.txt so there you go so now your science.txt, you can write to it, delete it, so can the people in your group. When you start on this slide, you should have this file, science.txt. That's what we got with wget. So let me know if you don't have that. So let's do it real quick. We'll make a copy, cp, science.s tab, call it I can do S tab and then I go back and do backup dot text. LS minus L, there it is. Okay, make a directory called backups mkdir. Backups. LS minus L, there's our directory. Copy signs back up to the new directory. So copy SC tab underscore tab to be a tab. So we copied it to backups in the new directory. So let's cd to the new directory, cd backups. Are we there, pwd? There we go, is our, we're in stuff and now we're in backups. There is science backup.txt, let's 
rename it with move s tab to science.txt ls minus l now we only have the one science.txt remove the original so we go back up let's see where are we pwd go back up one pwd and then we don't need the signs back up because we moved it to back up. So remove sc tab underscore tab. And it's not there. So here we go. So I'm going to do clear, up arrow, up arrow. And try to remove backups, rmb tab. And you can't. It's a directory. So maybe we can do rmdir. Backups, you can't remove an empty, empty directory. If you're sure you want to move it, you use the minus R for recursive R, E tab. That's how you move a directory. I'm going to go ahead and remove mine. I know I don't need it. And there, we're back to just having science.txt.